Hey, get everyone, it's Dr. Joe here from Story Uber Games on our next part for our city designer, and we're going to do the city walls. Uh, now, always check your sketch so that you know roughly the walls are. It's a nice rounded wall area, and you're going to click on all cities and drawing tools, similar to what we did for the land and the water, but this time we're going to select the 20 foot city wall. Choose a place to start and left click. And then just keep on left clicking to draw all the points along your wall. And I'm going to draw the next batch along there. Now I'm not totally happy with that first wall. So I'm going to click on the delete tool, select that wall because it wasn't quite round as I wanted. Go back to our wall selection tool. And I'm just going to redraw it to make it a little bit more rounded. That looks more like that uh, map that I drew. Now, cool thing, if you use the attached function, you can actually connect one piece of a wall to another piece of a wall, but make sure you unselect the attachment so that your new wall segments each time you click left won't snap to that coastline. You don't want them to snap to those points. Okay, let's just quickly spin through and draw the rest of this 20 foot wide wall around our key areas of our map. And we're going to join it there. Now, if you refresh the screen, you'll actually see that the wall has correctly connected at that T-section. And that's looking good. Draw a little bridge in. Now, right click again on the All City Drawing Tools. But this time, select a five foot city wall. And we're going to add the additional wall segments, the, the extra wall segments in for specific parts of our map. And again, following from that, uh, from that sketch that we did earlier. Yep, that's looking close for some additional elements. Now, click on the symbols catalogs until you find a building style that would make a good watchtower. There's one right there. Notice that when we place these buildings along the wall that they automatically align to the wall. So that means that you can just basically run these along and position them however you want along the wall surface. You click once and then you need to move them into the city wall. Oh, now you see there, I made a mistake. I didn't align it right on the wall itself. I deleted it with control Z and replaced it. In this particular case, I've accidentally knocked the scroll wheel. So I've made the, uh, uh, that building a little bit smaller than it should be. So I'm going to right click to call it the symbols parameters and then click on set normal. And uh, we're back to being able to place our, our little watchtowers exactly how we want. And again, I'm gonna speed through this so as not to waste your time, but you get the idea on how you can lay the watchtowers out. Try and keep those watchtowers certainly on the major corners of your wall as well as intervals. Finally, right click on sheets Select the sheet effects on, click on OK, and you can now see how this style gives a lovely shadowing effect for our walls. OK, so that's it. Now, next up, we're going to start mapping out the roads and streets. And this is a slightly longer tutorial, so I'll see you shortly. Radio, that's it. Now, don't forget to check out www.storyweaver.com for some great mapping resources. Just click on the master mapping menu and also check out some of the cool games that we publish as well. Keep mapping, keep learning, and keep sharing your wonderful creations.